UK, Japan and Italy will announce a groundbreaking agreement next week to jointly develop a new sixth-generation fighter jet, and the UK will merge its Tempest jet fighter project with Japan's FX fighter program. UK has already briefed India on the Tempest program, but India has not shown any interest. Japan has also announced to relax its military export rules so that the joint fighter jet could be exported to close allies like India. The Indian Air Force is fully backing the AMCA program, but it is open on seeking foreign collaborations for development of niche technologies for the AMCA, as a backup development plan to ensure availability of alternative systems and sensors, in case indigenous systems fail to mature as per planned timelines. The German government has said, that if the Indian Navy and Ministry of Defense is willing to remove certain liability clauses that can be enforced during any delays in the delivery of the 6P-75I submarines, then the German firm Disencrypt Marine Systems could consider to bid in the project. The German firm has said that it can't be made liable for any delays that might happen in the program, as it will be executed by an Indian shipyard. German Type 214 CD submarine meets all the technical criteria of the Indian Navy including an operational AIP system, and media reports indicate that the Indian Navy has already requested Defence Ministry to consider some relaxations in the liability clauses. The Indian Navy chief has said that the twin-engine deck-based fighter program is on track to have its first flight by 2026 and enter production by 2032. The Indian Navy have already come up with a developmental flight regime that will be for five years from the first flight, and four pre-production prototypes will be used to conduct 1,000 flights and a series of 100 deck-based trials from the aircraft carrier, and once 80% of developmental trials are concluded, the TED-BF will be cleared for production. Indian Navy chief has said that the Navy has put a hold on its plans to design and build a larger 60,000-ton indigenous aircraft carrier, and is instead looking at the possibility of a repeat order of the recently commissioned 42,000-ton INS Vikrant. On the purchase of 26 carrier bond fighters, Navy chief has said that the Navy is analyzing the report submitted following the trials of the Rafale Marine and the FA-18, and a decision will be taken that is in best interest. The MQ-9B procurement has reached a stage, in which a decision will have to be taken on the rationalized numbers. Navy chief also stated, that instead of building new minesweepers, the Navy is looking at the possibility of having a mothership, that can carry out missions using autonomous underwater vehicles. According to a media report, India's 13,000-ton S5-class third-generation SSBN program might enter the production stage sometime in 2027 onwards. A considerable initial work has been carried out on the S5 design, and a 190-megawatt pressurized water reactor will be developed and used as a land-based pressurized water reactor on a 1 to 1 scale for testing purposes for two years, before it will be cleared to be integrated into the first submarine. Before beginning the production work, the S5 SSBN will require a new bigger dockyard at shipbuilding center in Visakhapatnam. After bagging a 96 crore rupees contract to supply 125 maneuverable expendable aerial targets to the Indian Army and Air Force early this year, Anadrone Systems has announced that it will establish a state-of-the-art R&D center for sophisticated drones in Odisha that will have capabilities to develop futuristic target drones such as supersonic targets. The new facility will be up and running within six months, and will provide drone solutions for the Indian Armed Forces and export requirements.